My favorite idea comes from a, uh, a concept uh, originated by John Tooby and Irv Devore. I'm hoping if I uh, repeat it enough times, people will, will forget that and think that I came up with it. But uh, I, I will mention that they deserve the credit. And they, they call it the, the cognitive niche. And it starts from the observation, the, the commonplace observation, that in evolution, uh, organisms evolve at each other's expense. So with the exception of fruit, every food item for every organism is the body part of some other organism, which would just as soon keep that body part for itself. And so uh, all organisms need defenses against being eaten, uh, shells, weapons, poisons, stealth, camouflage, in the case of plants, uh, chemical warfare, irritants and poisons and bitter tasting substances, which sets the stage for uh, offensive weaponry to defeat the defenses that organisms have against uh, uh, being eaten, more acute perceptual systems, speed, stealth, uh, weapons, in a, kind of a co-evolutionary arms race. Now, uh, What's unusual about humans is that we uh, kind of cheat in this arms race by developing ways of defeating the defenses of other organisms, not over evolutionary time, generation by generation, but in real time, in our own lifetimes, by developing mental models of the environment, cause and effect uh, texture of the world around us, and manipulating it to our advantage. We develop uh, traps uh, that rely on laws of physics, on expectations of animal behavior, on uh, our intuitions about biology. We extract poisons from uh, one organism and use them against uh, another. We defeat the defenses of plants by boiling or fermenting or peeling or cooking uh, and, and therefore enjoy uh, plant nutrients. And all of it done faster than other organisms can develop uh, defenses in their turn because we do it in our heads and by exchanging ideas with one another, uh, which is why whenever humans enter a, a habitat, the other species drop like flies. Uh, if, if you look up, talk about definitions of our species, if you look up man in uh, Ambrose Bierce's The Devil's Dictionary, uh, it, the definition uh, uh, indicates that our chief occupation is the extermination of other species and each other. Uh, however, we uh, reproduce with such insistent rapidity as to infest the entire habitable Earth and Canada. Uh, so that, I think, kind of cap captures our species. And I think it explains the, why the, that entire complex of zoologically unusual traits is found in the same species, because each one of them multiplies the value of the other. Uh, most obviously, there's technology, which depends on our uh, intuitive understanding of the environment, what breaks, what bends, what uh, falls, what rolls, uh, and that depends on our uh, intuitions of uh, physics, of forces and objects and substances, our intuitions of living things, of uh, uh, organisms that have essences that are responsible for their powers. Uh, I think it... it uh, uh, accounts for our language, that if we have accumulated technological know-how, that gives us something to talk about, something to, uh, to share. And it means that we can profit. We don't have to, as they say, reinvent the wheel, but we can profit from all of the uh, strokes of genius and trial and error and um, uh, accumulated wisdom of other members of our species, but only if we're co cooperating with them. Uh, that is, uh, only if we uh, have something to offer in the expectation of a return uh, farther down the line.